Right, so now we're in AEM Author and I'm in a folder with a bunch of events that I've created using content fragment models like uh, Nick had mentioned and I'm working on this work from home event uh, with Nick so we want to update this content and push it out and kind of see it in all our different channels so I'm going to edit the description presented by Nick and Amal I'll update the event date to be April 3rd um, update the image to something more appropriate you know update the ticket price change the event time and also the venue name and blue jeans I'm gonna go ahead and save this fragment and this is it right I'm, I'm editing this once and I'm gonna publish this out to my AEM published here by just hitting quick publish and it'll get published out. I'm also going to send this um, fragment through a workflow that I've created so that all the other channels can also uh, get this information. So I'm going to proceed. All right, so the first thing we'll do is we'll follow the traditional sort of CMS path. I have two websites here. One of them is called Weekend Events. This is a single page application that's sitting in AEM. It's built on Angular. Another one is called Weekend Site which is just a regular AEM site the traditional way. So I'm going to first edit the weekend site. I have the home page uh, here in edit mode. And this is just your regular you know, website that's sitting in AEM. And built in AEM, I'm going to find my the content that I just created. Just work from home. I'm going to drag it onto this page. And you can see that you know this is just plain content. Remember, the content fragment doesn't really have any presentation um, associated with it. So I'm going to apply a style to this, an event style using the out of the box AEM event system. And that will apply some CSS to this uh, content fragment. And now that looks more in line with, you know, what I'm uh, expecting. So I'm going to check this out. I can do an in context preview and then go ahead and publish this page because I'm happy with it. All right, page is published. Next, I'm going to go into my single page app. And with AEM uh, and the SPA editor, uh, which is a single page application editor, you're able to do the same thing I just did with the regular HTML website um, with drag and drop, in context preview. So it gives the marketer really the ability to update single page applications, whereas it gives the developer the control on how things should be displayed and how everything will work. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this content fragment to the right with the new one that uh, I just created. Go drag and drop, update, fantastic, and then take it up, take take a look at it, check it out, uh, work from home. All right, it's got the new uh, address, it's got April 3rd, it's got the updated description, fantastic. Going to go ahead and publish this page out. So this is your traditional, you know, uh, CMS flow, right? You're able to author pages, you get in context preview, and you're able to push this out uh, directly uh, with no code, just drag and drop enter some content and you're done. Um, I have another page in my single page application, but in this case, I don't really have to update anything or author anything because this component is uh, dynamic in nature. It's pointing to this folder with all the event uh, fragments in there, and it's just pulling in each one and displaying that. So all I have to do here is just refresh this page and it'll get the latest you know, image, it'll get the latest date, whatever it needs to. So there's no real authoring in here, but I just wanted to show you that you don't have to drag and drop every time. You can build components that automatically pull it in uh, as well. So now if you look on the right, I'm gonna open up my phone. I'm sharing my uh, actual mobile phone here. Um, part of the workflow that I sent the uh, fragment through uh, goes ahead and sends an email out to my users. So I can see there's a new event from Adobe Weekend, fantastic. This is the no work from home event. It's got my image. It's got the updated description, venue, price, and, and it has a couple of uh, call to actions. The first one, the yellow one or green one, I don't know which one it is, but uh, that's called Open Weekend Events app and that opens a mobile app. So we wanna show the same content in a mobile app, which is more mobile friendly, uh, app friendly rather than you know web uh, friendly. So just open up the events uh, you know, screen, and then I'm gonna look for this, it's got work from home. It has all my information, fantastic. 
with mobile we can do additional things like you know link out the address to google maps so that it's actually more useful than if it was just an address written there like who cares about that at least this is actionable and i can do this in mobile because it makes sense for this channel for other channels it might not make sense uh, so this gives you an idea of you know this is the same information but it looks different it feels different because it's being used in a totally different channel Another thing I can link out to is my website. The website, you, this events page that you see on the left in the browser, I'm gonna click uh, on the CTA and then open up the same uh, events page on my mobile app and it should show me the same information there as well, right? And so while it's loading, I can go down, scroll down and see that it's got the same, a bunch of events that have been coming in from this page automatically. And I can see my latest one up here, but it's got all the information I need. And you know, it's a fantastic, easy way for someone on a mobile app to interact with this uh, content. So I'm gonna go ahead now and switch over to my desktop on the left. So I'm gonna go to the weekend uh, page, which has FAQs. There's an FAQ section here. You know, standard FAQ, you know, frequently asked questions. There's a question, there's an answer. But you can see that there's a chatbot here as well. So I'm gonna ask this chatbot some information about my event and I want to see how it presents the information back to me. So where is the work from home event? All right, the work from home event, it's giving me the you know location address, things like that. You know, so it can be like, what time is the work from home event? And gives me the information about, okay, it's nine to 10 a.m., fantastic. So. As you can see, I'm interacting with this content in a totally different way. And uh, it's the same information. I entered it once in that fragment, published it out, but I've already interacted with this content in multiple different channels in totally different ways. Now let's switch back to the mobile phone and I'm gonna do one last channel, which is uh, voice assistant. So hopefully you can hear this. Ask Adobe Weekend, where is work from home event? The work from home event will be held at Adobe Newton office or Blue Jeans, 275 Washington Street, Newton, Massachusetts, 02458. Ask Adobe Weekend what time is work from home event? The work from home event timings are 9 to 10 a.m. Fantastic. So as you can see, uh, we've, you know, taken this content, we've edited it once, we've authored it in one place, published it out, and that's all we did as a marketer. Um, everything else is seamlessly being integrated so that you can see the same information, but in totally different channels, whether it's voice assistant, chatbot, uh, email, mobile app, um, single page application, or um, you know, just a regular website, which is traditional.